Hello everyone and welcome to the Ploughing Championships 2015. Now the farming industries and the horse racing industries very much come together at this event. So Horse Racing Ireland are represented with this magnificent marquee. Let the games begin. A jockey's career is quite short, so what I used to do, there was no re Sunday racing in England at the time, and um, I used to um, ride all week in England and come back to Ireland to ride on a Sunday. So as regards your question, I, I, there was no time to go out, but I did enjoy myself. Um, but I actually can say that the, the, the couple of years I was in Ferdy, I was never in a nightclub in England. Um, I wouldn't know where to go to get one, but... Um, I wouldn't know where to go. One minute. 1970 to 2015 in a minute. Go on, Murph. Second a horse. Come on. Okay. 1970, Mr. Jinsky, 71. Mill Reed, 72. Roberto, 73. <laughs> Marston, 74. Stone Light, 75. Grundy, 76. Ampre, 77. The Minstrel, 78. Shirley Height, 79. Try, 80. Henbit, 81. My father is a trainer, um, well-known trainer in the Pine of Hine scene. Um, from when I grew up, or from when I was born, it was always horses. Uh, it was always horses around uh, back home. And what's the horse that you you think has been the best horse you've sat on today? Um, it's a tough one. I've been lucky to sit on a couple of very good horses, but because I, I still think. I know he's not with us now, but our Connor was something very, very special. Um, I, don't, I, know, I know I didn't get to ride him after the Triumph Hurdle, but I don't think I've sat on anything like him before. He, he was very different. Um, was the closest I ever ridden to a champion hurdle horse. Now, look, last year I sat on some very good horses, Don Pauly, who was very impressed from Cheltenham, Don Cossack, so it's hard to say, but at the time, Don, our, our Connor was very, very good, and I think he could have went all the way. Patrick, give us, give us two horses, please, Patrick, um, of the non-gambling owners in your yard who won't care when they sluice in. Two horses that we can all mow down. Doesn't matter whether they're bumper horses or bumper horses going novice hurdling who are absolutely flying at home. Uh, well, they're not doing any fast work yet. Um, I think York Hill was probably the best bumper horse I rode last year. Um, he didn't win the champion bumper, but I think he's very, very good. And um, I was actually trying to buy a sister of his during the, during the summer. That's how good I think it was, but I couldn't afford it. And it's great to see you here with a big stand because the connection, of course, between thoroughbreds in Ireland and farming is so strong. Um, in fact, the vast majority of racehorses in Ireland are actually bred on farms that have, you know, two or three breeding mares. And we are playing dating at the races. You must have had a nickname. I've had a few nicknames, all right, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> nothing terribly exciting, though, I'm afraid. Coco, <laughs> Cone Zone, Sophie, help me out here for the love of God. Are you the sprinter? who knows what he's doing but it all happens too quickly or are you the stare who just goes on and on and on until Grace is asleep? Um, I'd like to say I'm a bit of a sprinter and a stare that I finish everything first but at least I'll go on and go on again again and again again and again, again. <laughs> Oh, he's, he's so smooth. 